Welcome everybody to Our Green Acres. I'm so glad you came over to our channel today. And if you are new to my channel, I want to introduce myself. My name is Teresa. In today's video, I'm going to show y'all four ways that we can recreate, design, and have fun with cigar boxes. I don't know if y'all have any cigar boxes or if you see these out at thrift stores or yard sales, but they're very inexpensive, but they are tons of fun to recreate. So I'm going to show you four ways of how I recreate my cigar boxes. And also in the video today, I'm going to show you a couple of items that were popular items in past videos that I'm now pulling back out. I'm going to give them a little facelift and I'm going to be able to share them with y'all. I hope y'all get lots of inspiration and ideas from the video today. I hope you enjoy it. And as always, I appreciate each and every one of y'all for coming over to my channel. If you haven't joined my Facebook home decor page, I'd love for you to go over and join it and also go over and follow me on Pinterest and Instagram. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I'd love for you to and also hit that notification bell so you'll be notified each time I upload a video. Thanks so much. Okay, the first project we're going to work on is going to be some cigar boxes. Now, these are inexpensive pieces that you can find a lot of times at thrift stores and yard sales. And they are very inexpensive to pick them up. And I uh, acquired these at a yard sale not too long ago. And I actually have four of them. I found another one after I photographed these. So, I'm going to do four today. And I'm going to show you four ways of um, different kind of ways that you can decorate and recreate these boxes. They, this is a very fun project. This is something, you know, if you need a little fun project to do, maybe on a rainy day and you're stuck inside, this is it. So I'm just kind of showing you the bones of the little cigar boxes, the insides. All of them were really good on the inside. One um, has one of its little sides missing, but they have like... Um, you know, they're just, just natural looking wood on the inside. And I'm not going to do anything to the inside of them. But I did go around and I painted each one with um, Rust-Oleum Linen White Chalk Paint. And I don't know, I probably put at least three coats on it. And then I went over and then I sanded them with my sanding block just to get more of a smooth finish. Now the first one, I'm just going to show you how easy it is to put a stencil on it. Now, I have all my stencils that I feature in my videos in my Amazon store, and they're under stencils, and I have a huge selection. So, I'm going to put a part of the stencil on the front, and I'm also going to put part of the stencil on the top. Now, for the second one, I'm going to go out to Graphics Fairy. I love to go out there and just choose through their huge selection of free printables. So, I got, I went for some that were more of a free, shabby chic, but you could go and get whatever kind of, you know, graphic that, that you want that fits the theme of your home. So, I'm just going to use some Mod Podge. I'm going to put it on the back of it, you know, all over. And then I'm just going to adhere it down to the top. And then I'm also going to show you another one that I, um, that I printed out to put on the front. Now, I'm just decorating the front um, and the tops of my cigar boxes. But you could do the whole cigar box if you wanted to. And there are so many ways that you can decorate these boxes. This is what makes it so much fun. You can just use your imagination. You can, you know, use whatever kind of crafts you have and just get you know really creative with it now this is the second graphic that I cut out and I just kind of go around with my scissors and I just get as much of the paper off of it as I can and then again I'm gonna apply it with Mod Podge and just put it on the front now also you could adhere these instead of using Mod Podge a lot of times I like to use the you know, the Gorilla Spray Adhesive, that works really well, but I like to use that outside. Today, it was a rainy day, so I'm just going to stick with my Mod Podge. And of course, anytime you use Mod Podge, you want to just press down really good and get all your wrinkles out. Now, I'm going to go to a new product that I'm using that I got on Amazon, and I'm going to have some of these linked in my store also. This is that Decapodge paper. And my friend Annie over at Andy Annie Jones, and I'm going to link her channel down below. She did um, a video not too long ago and did several projects using this decoupage paper. I had to try it. Y'all, this is so easy to work with. It's a little bit more durable than a napkin. 
It, mine did not tear at all. It was really easy to cut. And all you do is Mod Podge it wherever you want it. And it gets a really good, it goes down really well. And you just smooth it out with your fingers. I'm going to I'm gonna be using this in, in some future projects for sure. I really enjoyed the decoupage paper. Now the one I put on the top, I Mod Podged it on. And then I just went around the sanding block. So if you have any, you know, overlap on the sides or anything, that is so easy just to give it a smooth finish with your sanding block. Now this third little box was a very fun one. You can, um, I went out again to Graphics Fairy and I had already had this lady printed out from a previous project and I, I, I loved her, but, but Graphics Fairy has a lot of Victorian style women, you know, pictures. So I put her on the top and then there's also these sheets of, I guess if you do scrapbooking, Graphics Fairy has just sheets of you know, little things that you can cut out, like if you're doing a collage or doing scrapbook, scrapbooking or maybe journaling, doing one of those little junk journals. So I printed out a sheet of just different things and I just cut them out and, you know, at random, I'm just sticking them and just trying to, you know, figure out how I want them to cover my box. And so I'm, again, I'm just going to apply them with my Mod Podge. And then I love the little postage stamps. I think they gave you four. And I'm going to use, I think, two on this project. And I just kind of went around. I kind of wet my fingers a little bit with a little bit of water. And you can go around the edges of any of these and just kind of rip them just to make them look just a little bit more vintage and a little bit more worn. And I did that on the stamp. And I'm going to do it here in just a minute on my little Paris decal. Now I'm going to work on the front. And I'm just going to take this, and I want this to kind of wrap around to the side. And, uh, you know, just to kind of give it a little bit more, I don't know, detail and dimension. And, and like I say, this is so much fun. I could have done so many more of these because I really enjoyed just sitting, you know, on a rainy day and working on this project. Now, this was a rose that they gave you. I just cut out one of the, you know, the flowers and left all the greenery and then I just put that on there, and then I'm going to do the little Paris. And the little Paris, I'm going to go around with my fingers. You know, you just wet your fingers just a little bit, and that way your your paper will just start tearing. And that, you just start tearing all, you know, just get it the way you want it and how you want it to look. And then, again, just add your Mod Podge, stick it on, and I think these little boxes turned out so cute. I love these. Now, you can embellish this little box any way you want to. You could display this with florals inside of it. You could put your collectibles in it. You can even store jewelry in it. Now, I'm going to show y'all a little shelf. Now, I had this little shelf. I've had it for many years, and I've used it a lot in my home. And it was originally kind of a bronzy kind of metal. And I chalk painted it, I think, cashew. And this was way back before my YouTube channel. Well, I'm going to pass this on. I'm going to, I'm going to, give it a little upcycle and then this is going to be at Stevens and we're you know I'm going to pass this on to y'all anybody out there that would like to purchase this little shelf it will be for sale at Stevens Antiques but it needed a little face lift so I chalk painted it white and of course we're going to put a stencil on it this is one of my favorite stencils um I've used it a lot in a bunch of my projects, but it's just the right size, and I like the way that wording around the bottom kind of curves around, kind of like in the shape of the shelf, so I thought, well, this one is perfect. So I like to use painter's tape when I'm stenciling, because that way, when I tape down my stencil, it doesn't tear my, my paint off, and it, I don't know, it's very easy to work with, too. So I use my Waverly ink ch um, chalk paint, and I just stenciled it on, and you can just see how, how pretty that is. Now this also, was, it was in a previous video. And I took a little percolator coffee pot I acquired at a yard sale. Very inexpensive. And I went out and I spray painted it. Now I've used this in my home. And I'm ready to pass this along, but I'm going to I'm gonna put a little bit more detail on it. I did not like the little shiny um, 
spray paint that I had on it. I felt like it needed to be, I don't know, I wanted it to be a little bit more dull looking. So I'm going to use the, uh, the um, I think it's Ap Apple Barrel Snow White. I really like that little paint. It has a really good color to it. So I went over it a couple of coats with my brush and just kind of knocked that shine off of it. And then again, I'm going to add a stencil to this. The stencils to me just really add so much to your projects if you you know if you need if you've painted something and you just think it needs something else a lot of times you know if you've got a Cricut you could put a design on it with your Cricut or use your stencil or your stamps if you've watched my channel for a while and you've watched some of my past videos you may recognize these ceiling tiles I have a video where I repurpose three ceiling tiles and I give you lots of ideas of how you can decorate them and embellish them and I'm going to leave a link to that video down below. But I've I've had them for a while and I don't use them. So I've took them out and I thought, well, you know what? We can offer these to y'all. If anybody is interested, these will be at Stevens Antiques. Because these right here are metal. So you they are great to put magnets on. So I made some bows for them. Put some totally dazzled jewelry on them. And I added a magnet to the back. So if you were to get one of these, you will get the bow, you know, that's a magnet. You can hang your recipes, your photos, whatever you want on them. And like I say, my video that I did, I give you lots of other ideas of, you know, how to embellish them. But if you do purchase them, you do get the scrapbook paper that you're seeing and you'll get those bows. And I'm also featuring some jewelry in the videos in the video today there is a vendor at stevens and she sells a ton of jewelry and her jewelry is very pretty and it's very affordable so i took a few pieces and i just kind of wanted to stage it with some of the items that i you know i was redoing today just to kind of give you an idea of how pretty these items complement you know if you put these things on your vanity or you know along you know where you have your jewelry and this is one of her necklaces and you can see it's only 10.99 this comes with a really long chain and you can see the silver and the pearls and of course you know we got a t because these are initials and she carries a lot of initials so she has a huge selection to choose from love the patina and the little tassel on that one it's that green you know and copper it's beautiful and this one is like a little spoon necklace. It is gorgeous. And it's, you know, you can adjust the length of these because they have, you know, the little extender chain on it. So you can make them as short or as long as you want to. And this is the back of the little spoon necklace. I thought that was just so cute because it does. It looks just like a spoon.
Okay, y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed the video as much as I enjoyed making all of these projects. This was a fun one. These little cigar boxes were so much fun to make. And I hope y'all will try to make some. And if you do, make sure to share them over on my Facebook home decor page. I'd love to see them. And also, if you're interested in any of the things that you see in the video today that you don't care to make yourself and you may just want to purchase it, make sure to check out my friend Stephen and I will have his information down below and he will be happy to help you. And also, don't forget to go out and check out Sandra's jewelry. She has so many pretty things in her booth and Stephen will be glad to add photos if you need some. So as always, y'all, I hope y'all have a great fourth of july weekend i hope each and every every one of y'all stay safe and healthy and i plan to see y'all again in my next video love y'all